So here's a very common issue with the Volkswagen Mark IV platform. They use this ridiculously designed fuse box and a, a too small alternator cable and overall it causes everything to end up going pear-shaped. See here, my, my thing's corroding here and this one goes to the main fuse box in the interior. It's my alternator cable, as you can see, it's all discolored and burnt up. So what I'm gonna be showing you today is how to fix this, this common issue and how to prevent it from happening in the future. Always disconnect the battery before doing anything like this. So here you can see the melting that's been going on, it's ridiculous. So I just removed this bolt down here, my one doesn't have one on the other side, so yours might be different, but notice this just requires a bit of gentle persuasion and that comes out like that. It requires to be lifted on an angle to get it out like that. The latest step I took was to remove the battery plate that sits under the battery and it's got four bolts and one near the intercooler, the cold air intake I mean, and um, one near the filter box and that's the one just here just here and just here and then there's also one just here on the power steering reservoir and then it all with persuasion pops out then after that you can see you've got better access I've already taken my alternator cable out because I couldn't be filming it because it's a very tough job um, so it runs down here and then there's this special um, There's this special harness and there was two zip ties here for me That connects it all and then comes back here. There's another clip on them. Then it runs under these <clears throat> Under these two hoses here and then comes through the front straight to the alternator so what I've done is gotten a brand new cable four gauge a four gauge cable and I've transferred all the parts from the old one to the new one and then once everything's professionally crimped like I've got one end that's professionally crimped here and I'll get the other one I'll go through the same procedure connecting it to the alternator and making sure it runs smoothly through all the clips back to where the fuse box housing sits and then I'll put everything back together. I let my cable soak in CLR overnight um, to get rid of corrosion as you can see. It's come up quite nice. Fortunately while stripping back I accidentally broke two strands but that shouldn't really make a difference. Um, and I'm currently soaking the positive and negative terminals on the battery. Also, as you can see down here, there's the grounding strap. So what I'm going to do in a minute is take that off and make sure that it's making good contact because if there's too much resistance, that will also heat up all the wires. All the connection points are all properly clean. I've just been doing this for a while, making sanded this one back actually. And then also the bolt up here, I sanded back. So, yeah. So I've almost gotten the new one through, um, slipped it through, 
made sure the insulation didn't get caught on anything going under the hoses like they were before and I'll fill that with that to make sure that it's all smooth and good um, I'll run this through this clip I'll get the clip that was originally here screw it onto the side of the alternator and then I'll plug these two wires in and yeah start putting everything back together now fiddled with it um, so it's all through these clips and I've put this alternator cable back in clipped it in put this harness around here zip tied it on this made sure it's all running smoothly and you can see it's on par with all the other cables um, I've made sure that it's going underneath where it should gone through this clip here under here and both cables are connected so I'll put the battery plate back in now so I've now got the battery plate back in but one thing I would like to mention before you do this on your, your own I would recommend removing the filter box because then it gives you a lot more room to manipulate this into place. There's also a bolt here on the cold air intake, but I'm putting a pod filter in my car, so I just took the whole thing out, so it doesn't need it anymore. Um, yeah, there's four bolts here, and one bolt here that has the bracket and also the power steering reservoir. The bracket's for the positive side of the battery. So yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I've got it all back together now. Put the battery back in, the plastic cover around the battery. So, while I was testing it, because I still haven't got my new fuse box yet, as I was testing it, I just put it on the battery. But when I get my new box, this won't be the case, as if the alternator ever overcharges more than it should, the fuse will pop here rather than blowing up my battery as some of you might have experienced before um yeah so i tested it all put all my lights on my fog lights on put my heated seats on put my air conditioning on full put everything on i put my interior lights on i put my phone on charge and this cable didn't even get warm so, overall I'm happy. This cable still gets warm here, but they always do. There's nothing you can do about this unless you replace it, but that's a massive job because it's, it's in with the wire harness for all the wires going into the interior. But as long as this one's not melting anything, I'm happy overall. This is the one that really used to have issues. So once my new box comes, I'll put this on here so that it's got a fuse to protect the battery if the alternator ever goes bad. And yeah, that's problem solved. So you guys would like to, it'd be great if you could like and share my video to anyone who's having problems with their Mark IV Volkswagen. Um, this can affect the Beetle, the Golf, the Jetta, pretty much everything. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.